Hello everyone, you are watching another episode of Military TV. In today's session, we will take a look at one of the stealthiest cruise missiles, the AGM-158 JASM. The AGM-158 JASM, or usually known as a Joint Air-to-Surface Standoff Missile, refers to a low-observable standoff air-launched cruise missile developed by Lockheed Martin for the United States Armed Forces. It is a large stealthy long-range weapon with a 450 kg armor-piercing warhead. This missile completed testing and entered service with the U.S. Air Force in 2009 and has entered foreign service in Australia, Finland, and Poland as of 2014. An extended-range version of the missile, the AGM-158B JASM-ER, Joint Air-to-Surface Standoff Missile Extended Range, entered service in 2014. By September 2016, Lockheed Martin had supplied 2,000 total JASMs to the U.S. Air Force, including both types. Before we move further, let's talk about its development. The JASM's manufacturing and production began in 1998 and the Air Force certified it operational in 2003. The JASM ER was first tested in 2006 and the first lot of missiles delivered to the U.S. Air Force in March 2014. The JASM is designed with a low observable airframe that is capable of defeating various targets, including enemy air defenses. Moreover, the missile's low-profile airframe is particularly crucial given the proliferation of sophisticated air defenses, such as the S-300 and newer variants. For the information, the U.S. Air Force initiated development of a further extended variant designated that is the AGM-158D. This missile is known as the JASM-XR, or Extreme Range, in which the distance approximately is up to 1,800 kilometers. However, the deliveries of this missile is expected to start in January 2024. Moving on to the next part, let's discuss the specification of this missile. The standard AGM-158 JASM has a range of 370 kilometers. Meanwhile, the JASM-ER has a range of approximately 1,000 kilometers. Since their airframes are identical, the weapons cannot be identified merely by appearance. The primary differences can be seen in a larger internal fuel tank and a more efficient turboffin engine. The airframe is angular in appearance, comparable to the Taurus KE PD350, but more rounded and flying. The fins and wings of the missile are folded when it is carried by an aircraft, and then unfolded by small explosive charges after it is released. Moreover, these missiles have a length of 4.26 meter long, 0.55 meter in diameter, 0.45 meter in height, 2.7 meter in extended wingspan, and 1,023 kilograms in launch weight. This stealthy cruise missile integrates flip-out wings and a vertical tail and installed with a dual-mode penetrator and blast fragmentation warhead. It also can carry warheads weighing up to 450 kilograms. JASM is also able to cruise with a subsonic speed and has a range of 370.4 kilometers with the ability to reach targets within the range of 926 kilometers. It is powered by a turbojet engine, while the ER variant is powered by a turboffin engine. The missile is guided by INS GPS unit developed for the JDM and JSO bombs, and also IR seeker for terminal guidance. It also incorporates three-dimensional targeting models of the intended targets, of which eight can be stored in each missile. In addition, the JASM is available in two variants, JASM and JASM-ER. Lockheed Martin will produce about 4,900 JASMs for the USAF at its Troy manufacturing facility in Alaska. AGM-158B JASM-ER is an extended range variant of JASM. It is intended to fly longer ranges, almost double the range of base JASM, as it integrates a highly efficient engine and larger fuel tank. The missile can be integrated into B-1 aircraft. Low rate production of JASM ER was authorized in January 2011. The U.S. Air Force successfully completed the initial operational test and evaluation flight testing of JASM ER in May 2013. In regard to its guidance and navigation features, the JASM flies automatically through a predetermined route by using the onboard inertial navigation system that incorporates anti-jam global positioning system, AJGPS, and a ring laser gyro inertial measurement unit. Additional navigation and guidance features on the air-to-surface missile include an imaging infrared, I2R, seeker and automated target correlator, a TC, for high accuracy strike rate, 
It can also carry powered low-cost autonomous attack system submunitions, integrating a dual-mode laser detection and ranging system, and a millimeter wave seeker. Moreover, the JASM has the flexibility to be integrated into a variety of platforms such as B-1B Lancer, B-2 Spirit, B-52H Stratofortress, F-15E Strike Eagle, F-16CD, F-A-18CD, and possibly later the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter. The B-1B, which can carry up to 24 missiles, is regarded the starting point platform. The B-2 can carry up to 16 missiles internally on rotary launchers. Meanwhile, the fighter aircraft can carry one missile under each wing, although in May 2021 the USAF loaded an F-15E with five JASMs. In addition, the JASM would have to be carried externally if the F-35 was certified to carry it because the missile would not fit in the main internal weapons compartment. Moving further, let's see some of the distinctions of this missile. First, the JASM has automatic target recognition, autonomous guidance, precision accuracy, and a J-1000 warhead optimized for penetration and carrying a new high-yield explosive. These characteristics give JASM capabilities against heavily defended hard targets such as aircraft shelters and underground command posts, as well as soft targets such as rail yards. Lastly, let's identify some of its service history. In June 2017, the United States deployed more than 10 JASM to South Korea for use by U.S. Air Force F-16 fighters. Followed by another launched on the April 14, 2018, the JASM was employed during missile strikes against Syria during the Syrian Civil War. Two B-1 Lancers fired a total of 19 JASMs as part of strikes against three Syrian government-alleged chemical weapons targets. All 19 JASM missiles were fired at the Barza Research Center, which was destroyed in the strike. Moreover, on October 27, 2019, at the end of the Barisha raid to capture or kill Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi, the then leader of the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant Terror Organization, a number of AGM 150B missiles were used to completely level the compound where the raid took place, marking the second time the missile has been used in combat. That's all for today. If you more interesting information regarding this bomber, please feel free to drop any comments below.